Okay, so this is a, I believe it's a 72, I don't really remember though, um, Triumph Spitfire 1500 US model. And so I'm considering buying a Tesla's new, shh, sweetie, I'm trying to record something. I'm considering buying a new intake manifold. It's got the single carb on it. And I'm thinking about buying, I think this is a CD150 carb. I'm thinking about buying an, a dual HS4 uh, carb system for it. There are some challenges to that. So it looks like this is the uh, thermostat. And it looks like there's a coolant line that goes to the intake manifold here. And then it comes out of the intake manifold on this side and goes to probably the heater core. Uh, and it also looks like there is a, looks like an exhaust gas. This is probably an EGR recirculation pipe here that attaches. Um, and the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold are on there with a single gasket. And it looks like the intake manifold is sandwiched. Uh, it's got these pins for alignment. It's got two pins, one there and one over there for alignment. And then it's just clamped on with these uh, bolt clamps. So in order to remove it, I'd have to probably remove both the intake and the exhaust, replace the gasket there. And then I'd also have to replace the gasket down here probably for the exhaust. Uh, and then that's all assuming that the EGR would work. I'm not super sure about that. So, and then as far as attachments go, it looks like this is the throttle and this is the choke. So those would have to be moved over to the new unit. Um, and then also this vacuum line would need to be replaced and this fuel line would need to be replaced. So there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be moved over. Okay.